The Nissan GTR is one of the cars in this world that can hold its own against any other performance vehicle. It may not have the power figures of other exotic vehicles, but it's a load in itself to deal with on any road surface. Now imagine what the GTR is capable of if you put it in the hands of an aftermarket tuner. Okay, that's a rhetorical question, because we all know what a tuned GTR can do. What we're here for is Alpha and Performance, the German tuner that has been up to his head developing tuning programs this year, including its latest pride and joy for, you guessed it, the Nissan GTR. The program itself is relatively straightforward, at least when you compare it to some of the previous works of Alpha and Performance, including the BMW M2 and Mercedes AMG GTR in fact. If you line up those two kits with the one the German tuner prepared for the GTR, the latter is tame by comparison. Not that it's going to matter, because the GTR is already a powerhouse in its own right. All Alpha and Performance is doing here is massaging Godzilla's 3.8-liter twin-turbo V6 engine and giving it an extra bump in power and performance. Even better, the cost of availing this upgrade is cheap. It doesn't even reach four figures, and owners of the GTR R35 should have no problem giving their supercars an extra shot in power. Given how some tuners have taken over the top approaches in building tuning kits for the GTR, it's a good sign that there's another aftermarket company out there willing to take a different approach on Godzilla. Exterior off the bat, I can tell you that this won't be your traditional tuning program because Alpha and Performance's sole focus was to give the Nissan GTR a small bump in power. So if you're looking to see if the German tuner has anything up its sleeve regarding aero kits for the Japanese supercar, you're better off looking elsewhere. Fortunately, I can point you in those directions, because there are tuners out there that have these types of upgrades for the GTR, minimal as they may be. Take Vivid Racing for example. The tuner presented its program four years ago and offered a unique super silver paint finish, an aerodynamic package that includes, among other things, modified bumpers, and a new set of 21-inch tinted brushed MHT niche Spa 3-piece super concave wheels. Another route you can take is go straight through Nissan and get the GTR Nismo. You're going to have to pay close to $70,000 more than the GTR Premium trim, but at least you get the extra benefit of having a reinforced hood, a more aggressive front bumper with layers of carbon fiber sheets and redesigned canards installed specifically for the purpose of improving airflow and creating increased downforce for the car. Sadly, none of these upgrades are available from Alpha and Performance, or at least not in the time being. After all, the German tuner is known for not introducing details of a specific upgrade one section at a time. Give the tuner a few months and it might just have an aero kit available for the GTR. Cross your fingers that it happens. Interior for better or worse, the story is the same with the GTR's interior. There are no traces of anything aftermarket as far as Alpha and Performance is concerned. You can wait for anything to develop in this section with regards to the German tuner or you can go to Nissan directly to get these upgrades. The good news here is that Nissan already has interior packages for all variants of the GTR. It'll only cost you an extra $4,000 and with that amount, you can get the automaker's premium interior package. Don't expect a full-blown cabin makeover, though because the only upgrades offered by the package are the hand-stitched, semi-aniline, leather-appointed front seats and interior treatments. A two-piece set of GTR-branded carpeted floor mats are also available, although that's going to cost an extra $295 on top of the amount you're going to have to pay for the GTR. Going to directly to Nissan is a good option to have. But if you want to turn your GTR into a full-blown Hellraiser on four wheels with those tuning upgrades that net over 1,000 horsepower, you can take comfort knowing that these companies also have important safety modifications to the cabin. Drive a train finally, we arrive at the section where Alpha and Performance's program for the Nissan GTR takes center stage. 
remember to temper your expectations. Though because this isn't the kind of program that's going to breathe fire into the GTR's 3.8 liter twin turbo V6 engine. What you stand to get instead is a subtle engine upgrade that is achieved by the tuner's Evox chip tuning box. These upgrades are mostly of the software variety and the result is evident as Alpha and performance only gets to squeeze out an extra 60 horsepower out of the V6 engine. The result is a total output of 630 horsepower and 620 pound-feet of torque. The tuner didn't say how this software upgrade affects the Godzilla's performance times, but comparing it to what it can achieve in standard form, a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of under 3 seconds is within reach, as is a top speed approaching 200 miles per hour. The tuned numbers are admittedly conservative, especially for a car like the GTR, which has been subjected to some of the most insane tuning programs in the business in recent years. In fact, if you go back the past few years, you'll see kits like the ones produced by Switzer, Garage D, and most recently, M's Performance. The common denominator among these tuners? They prepared programs for the Nissan GTR that resulted in outputs exceeding 1000 horsepower. In fact, Switzer's Goliath program for the GTR can reach a peak output of 1,500 horsepower, a staggering number that puts Alpha and Performance's 630 horsepower upgrade for the same car in its proper place. If anything, this massive gulf in output should help GTR owners make a clearer decision on how they want to approach the process of choosing which program suits them best. They can opt to for a more conservative upgrade and get Alpha and Performance's tuning module or they can go to the extreme and turn their GTRS into veritable rockets on wheels. In a lot of ways, the freedom to choose is what makes the aftermarket tuning scene such an important component of the auto industry. Pricing in the event that you opt for Alpha and Performance's tuning program for the Nissan GTR, you can take comfort knowing that you're getting program that's not going to burn any holes in your wallet. The tuner's Evox chip tuning box only costs 699 euros, which converts to 740 dollars based on current exchange rates. Should you opt for any of the huge upgrades that'll net you an output in excess of 1000 horsepower, you better prepare to open up the checkbooks, because these programs don't come cheap. For instance, M's Performance's Alpha 10 tuning kit for the GTR starts at $61,500, and that doesn't even include labor costs. The difference of over $60,000 should